Hello, hello, welcome to another video. Today's video is a comparison between Wood for Greatness from Inicio and Wood for Glory from Latafa. And the second one is obviously, as many of you know, is considered a dupe, a clone. And uh, we will see how close it actually gets to the original. So let's see the comparison. So let's first talk a little bit about how the bottles look. I have them both here. Obviously, this one is bigger. This is a 100 ml, while this one is actually a 90 ml. I knew that, but I just double checked. Um, they look different from this uh, perspective as well. This one has the Latafa sign. This other one says Inicio Parfums Privé. Okay, so uh, in terms of look, yeah, you can see there are similarities, although there are differences. It's not a total clone. <laughs> uh, it's not a fake, obviously, it's just a clone, so it cannot look the same, but it kind of gives you the same vibe, obviously. If we're talking about the quality of the materials, uh, packaging wise, you would be surprised of how good these actually feel and look. Like they do look expensive. Um, like if I press on this one, like it's a little bit like this moves a little bit, while here it doesn't. Like if I were just, if I wouldn't know these fragrances and I was just going to just touch them without actually seeing them, without knowing anything about them, I, I might think this is more expensive. And of course it's not. So, even the caps look different, they have a different shape, of course. Anyway, this is about the packaging. A problem with the packaging, with this one, is the fact that it's leaking. Um, there is like when I'm spraying, there is a little bit of a problem here, but I had this kind of problems with um, more expensive fragrances. So I wouldn't say that this is a general problem. This is just a problem with this bottle. Maybe because of how it traveled, who knows? So I wouldn't really uh, consider that an issue with just, you know, Wood for Glory in general. Okay, now, notes. So notes-wise, they are basically pretty much identical. <laughs> because yes, they do have a different order. Uh, Oud repeats two times in this one, both in the middle and in the base notes, uh, while here is just once, but basically it's the same. Saffron, nutmeg, lavender, wood, uh, musk, and there is one more that I forgot. But the main, the main notes that I get from this, uh, the main one would be saffron. So if I were to put my, my finger on a note that just stands out, is saffron here in both of them. Um, so, okay, the notes are the same. Uh, so basically it's the same fragrance. Uh, no, not really, because you see it's very important like, it's not just the notes that are listed, but also the quality. So, um, this one. This one, besides, of course, the, the price tag. Yeah, this is, I don't know how many times more expensive. It depends where you buy it, like, especially where you buy this one. This one I bought for about uh, 20 euros, or maybe 25 euros. Um, 30, 35 dollars, you see, like extremely cheap. I've heard um, YouTubers talking about this one, basically one YouTuber saying uh, they bought it for like 60, 40, 60, something of that sort, like more expensive. So I suppose prices do um, go up and down, like maybe they're more expensive in certain countries. But anyway, here you can find it maybe even for less than I bought it. This one, on the other hand, about $300, more or less. So what you get if you're buying this one? Um, first of all, yeah, I'm going to be... 
I'm going to say something that will sound like a stereotype. You're going to get quality. Okay, you have to be more specific than that. Yeah, I know. So this is creamy. This is not harsh at all. Because of the way it's blended, because of the quality of the raw materials used in the process, this is creamy. This, on the other hand, is not as creamy. Like, at first, you can actually smell some harshness in there. Um, it's just, it's, it's a bit rough on the edges. It's just um, not as smooth not as refined okay that's first um of course if you're not too familiar with this one and you just smell them in parallel real quick you might not notice so many differences but i've had this for for a very long time and i know about it i mean i've this bottle is almost empty so <laughs> this on the other hand is like almost full so yeah, um, so I feel like these are the first differences that you can smell if you know basically the first fragrance you should know well and then you try this one, uh, right? Because it's a dupe, so of course, like our, this is the guide, okay? This, the original is obviously the one we're like uh, looking up to. Okay, so, uh, and the other note was patchouli, the one I forgot about. Yeah. So, another difference between these two, the oud in here is a very western oud. If you were to ask someone from maybe the Middle East, do you smell any wood here? Um, I'm not sure how many would actually say that they, yes, they do smell the real wood in this. I feel like like there's not much wood in here and if if there is I mean there is but of course we're talking about a very clean wood about about a very westernized wood can I say that did I just make up a word you, you know what I'm saying like there's not that true wood that is harsh that is in your face that is animalic it's not here um while this one, I feel like the wood here, I mean, there's not a huge difference. We're not talking about huge differences here, okay? The differences are quite subtle. The wood in here is more what the wood is usually. Like, maybe that's why this one is harsher, is somehow, like, rougher. Okay, not as, not as refined, because this is smokier, um, a little bit more masculine, I would say. This is a bit more masculine. And both of them, but more this one, um, have some Baccarat Rouge DNA in them, both of them. They do sort of remind you of that. Um, but more with this one, because um, when I first smelled this one, I thought, wow, this is a Baccarat Rouge for men. Finally, they did it. And, uh, and yeah, I still, I still feel like there's a lot of that in it. And um, it's, it's a very interesting take, especially for guys, uh, again, who think Baccarat Rouge is for ladies and they like it, but they're just, uh, they're not really sure uh, if uh, their masculinity won't be affected by wearing such a sweet and, and uh, feminine fragrance. They both have this medicinal um, smell, vibe, and uh, although not everyone will, will get this from them, I think it's the saffron creating that. Maybe not entirely, but to me it's that saffrony smell that you also find in Baccarat Rouge and that creates that hospital kind of smell or the um, medical gloves or you know what I'm saying. It's in here and it's in here as well, so you won't get rid of that if if it's something you hate, it's in here. Um, but this one, I feel like this one is just richer. Like, when you're paying for the real thing, because obviously 
if I were to recommend you to buy something and you have the money to do it, go for this one. This is the real one, obviously. This is not a clone. The quality is in here. It's rich, it's smooth, it's, it's, it's creamier. It's just round and, and, and beautiful and gorgeous. And um, one trick that I've actually, one thing that I've actually noticed, and it's kind of a trick, I would say, if you get the chance to sample this one, and if you are on a budget, and there's nothing wrong with that, or maybe you simply don't want to spend that much on it, because, I mean, let's face it, we, we have other priorities, maybe we don't want to spend $300 on a fragrance. Um, with this one, the dry down tends to be more similar to the wood for greatness. So not immediately. Um, that harshness tends to go away after, I don't know, a little while, 20 minutes, I guess, or something of that sort. When it settles down, it just becomes a little bit creamier, this one, but you just need to be a little bit more patient. So yeah, um, did I mention the, the price difference? Yeah, I think I did several times. So anyway, guys, this was my comparison. I hope this was useful. Yes, yes, this is a good clone, I would say. But if you don't know this one and you just happen to stumble across this one, I mean, this can be simply a fragrance on its own. It doesn't have to be a dupe. You don't have to necessarily consider it a dupe. I think it's a great fragrance, especially for this price. So I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you for next video next time. Bye!